asona pakisi kanu wa bank ene yedi ni kakra kanu yedi ye nyema ense mfata na anu penti kwa fwa ya kwa koto vangelezi machine kaya siye over billions money yo ene yedi ya koto but ense akre ni pa kumpu wa gana hanum machine na penti kwa fwa koto siye ya ya soro ense akre wa kraba akumpu ba isa isi kanu sanko wamu chedi ma geto boy se wo geto ha kebe sakre ni pa over millions asona deni nyatom hello everyone my name is Ebenezer Amwako Enchi and you're welcome to the centric trends here we discuss trending issues that is going on in the body of christ so uh we chanced on this video it was posted by one popular music minister and we had to react to the video so now um basically those of you who don't understand the Ghanaian language this is the summary of what the person is saying so this person was actually talking about how that churches are collecting money from the members and instead of them to use their monies to help the, the members and um, they are rather spending it on themselves i'm speaking as the guy is saying not me myself yes and also he's trying to say that to him he believed that the money should be given to the ghetto boys and those into prostitution because some of them when you even go closer to them you realize that um, the reason why they are into those bad behavior is because maybe they, they don't have money those kind of things so he believed that that thing should be done and therefore pastors are not doing it and that is why i mean he he actually is kind of angry with chains and stuff now this person i want us to talk about the first and which is he's saying that money from church should be given to ghetto boys but before i go into it let's watch the video i'll come back to it Eti mi bawo eh wo mi ate ase sika no kenya asore ne dia da bi ye fa nya doye se muti mu die nya medwuma dia na kopo agapade e wo wiase ye nipa e punya mempe e wiya nya mempe nti se mu die nya medwuma dia boys na omo se na ye komunti no omo na wo se mu de show problem omo so what make na say ba so na pakisi kan wo bank ene ye di nka kra kan ye di ye nyema ense mfata na no penti kwa fo ya kwa ko to evangelism machine ka siye over billions money yo ene ye di akoto but ense akre ni pa kompo gana hanum machine na penti kwa fo akoto siye ba ya soro no ense akre wo kra ba kompo ba isa isi kan san ko mu chedi ma geto boy se wo geto ha ke be sakre ni pa over millions asona dani nyatom e si asona dani company adani nkro fo factory ai ni pakuo bi na didi wo mu na are ho na isu anya kopo e ma no homesu wo betwe ni paka e me yesa me ntimi nkotu wa hanka me kan ze ka chata 34 ah osu ntimi nkotu sa antwa na me ntimi nya time ah e be mo hiti abro so e be mo hiti abro kan ze ka chata 34 ma me bada nya sam ketwa o so ntimi ntimi wura geto bi na ni su atata me gesa o mo ye jantra no bada enya o mo pe o wo ko nso bi ye jantra ni na tem da Kwani chano kani hanchao, ancha ne dre nyumra uinyo obi mani tuwe biyani maudi, ancha ne dre nyumra uinyo uinyo baby da ba tuano wonya sadi yano, tisho wangu dini huwa wenye dre nindi, ba gas ni bora mimi timu uro mimi pichu mno muzu, mimi tisho fufu, juma yeye, hey, busa boy se wai, mimi pichu gas ni mre gas ni tisho fufu, juma yeye, anya ya pe, mimi wuji ni se yewe tume ya juma ni fifty years, ba tisho fufu diye bedi. Di ebedi preacher u preachi u free ya ko ya gisi ya ko di ya wana sani ya didi. Oh, ara wow. Meba, se mi me kanya na ma anye fair to the listeners and viewers. So for kanya first. Na wawo mbesi ni ba kong kanya. Mo ba buruida. Aha. Is it kaya chapter thirty four verse one? Kanya mami. Eye tree na English. Eye tree tree na me. Yentem first. But ara wow. Is it kebre se bisi? Aso for ni jiji ni pesi kaso mudi ni mjuma. Eno mudi show mabushi ya. Eno ni mesuma is it kaya is it kaya kwa sa sana so. Kache ni pana so mungia kora shinto. Is it kaya chapter? Thirty four verse one. Kache ni pana so kora shinto mungia to. Na ukro funo mudi mesi kama mo mo mudi yao mo ho. Kama mesi sofo. Osene radi sema amenchi. E radi sema ame is it kaya nchi nchi. Oni paba. Oni paba. Shem kumti Israel nyanya hufu. Shem kumti Israel nyanya hufu. Shem kum na kachere won. Shem kum na kachere nyanya hufu. Sai radi nyanya kupo nsi. Babu ya kanya hufu a sofo. To was a silver in a cuponcy, Munue, Munue, Israel, and her four yen won't hang on your 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 four so I'm, I'm sure you actually i mean those of you who understand tree definitely you, you you've you've seen the video but if you don't understand tree um that is what i explained summary so now he's saying that money from church should be given to ghetto boys full stop yes but you see 
one thing that we should understand is that i mean when when we talk about the church that is the local church um there are a lot of things that actually happens in the local church for example the church that you attend the local church you attend they, they pay light bills i mean they support some students their school fees um how do i call it there are a lot of ways that they pay um aside that so there are some internal projects even cleaning the place renovating the building and all those things they are done in the church now that money is that the church used to do all these things it doesn't rain from heaven it is money that are received from the church members as offering is what is being used to do all these things good now so the guy is saying that money to him he believed that the money should rather be given to ghetto boys what should they use the money for and that is the first question because you can't tell me that i've got the money i should go to the ghetto and be sharing the money to them those in the ghettos they don't need money yes what they need actually is jesus christ and that is why we go we go to them we preach the message of christ to them and when they accept christ and they they they, they are born again we teach them god's word and as time goes on they are able to even find work to do and they also come back to contribute to the church so if it's going to be sold that when when i get money i should go and share it to the ghetto boys <laughs> it doesn't actually make sense that's the first thing now the man of god went further to attack a certain church that is i think the church of pentecost so if you could realize i think we, we wanted to do a video about that one but we couldn't do it now the church of pentecost last week a news came last week was a missions week and so i think during that week uh, the church launched i mean a state of the art evangelism track and you see that evangelism track i think in in africa it is the second largest evangelism track in africa and when you come to ghana it is it is the, the first largest so this pastor is saying that <coughs> the evangelism track that was bought by the church of Pentecost is go- is not going to win even a single so now you let's let's go back and watch what he said asona pakisi kan wa bank and ye din ka ka ne ye di ye nyema ensem fata na no pentecost for ya kwakoto evangelism machine ka sie over billions money o na ye di akoto but ensa kan ni ba kompo gana hanum machine na pentecost for akoto sie ba ya soro no ensa kan wa kraba kompo ba sai sika no san ko mo chede my ghetto boys e wo ghetto a ke ba sakra ni pa over millions asona de ni nyatom yes so i'm sure you actually heard what what he said he is saying that um this track that the church bought for evangelism is not going to win just a single so but then you see let's go let's go into what goes into crusades now so if a church is going to do a crusade in let's say Tanzania or let's say they are going to Togo now that place the church i mean is i mean should i say the church is foreign to that place now they've gotten a park or a stadium where they want to do their crusade they need a sound system they need generators all those kind of things and in fact those things that the church need god will not rain it from heaven that church you are in us so come for it god will not do that secondly unless someone is touched by god that i want to give out all my instrument to the church let them use it to do evangelism other than that they have to go and rent it or pay for it good so if you are very good at finances you realize that any item any time you are buying an item we have two things it's long term and short term when you are buying something important something needful but expensive it is hard and painful in the short term but in the long term it is beneficial because you realize that, let's say you are renting for about 15 years you could see that after 15 years when you, when you add all the money you've paid but you still don't own that thing and you actually realize how much you could have bought it 15 years ago you see that you you've lost a lot of money so now the church of pentecost as part of their evangelism mandate got this track so that it can aid them to i mean go to places and do crusades without having this kind of issues 
And a man of God is saying that the church is misusing the money. To the extent that he's saying that this money, I mean, this track that they bought cannot win a single soul. My question is, can't we preach the gospel without attacking other men of God or churches? Fine. We, there are some churches in Ghana or in the body of Christ. Christ, Jesus Christ, we spoke about them that in the end time, we have false prophets and teachers will come. We know that they are there. But then when you go to the extent of attacking a certain ministry that is really, really doing God's work, that is evangelism fo uh, focused, then you are veering off. Now, so on this ghetto issue. I saw na pakisi kanu wa bank. Ene ye dini kakra kanu ye di ye. Nyema ense mfata. Na anu penti kwa fwa ya kwa koto evangelism machine kese ye. Ofe billions mwenye yo. Ene ye di ya koto. But ense kwa ni pa kumpu wa gana hanum. Mesi na penti kwa fwa koto se ya diba ya soro no. Ense kwa wa kraba kumpu. Ba isa isi kanu sanko. Omu chedi ma ghetto boy se wo ghetto ha. Kebe sa kwa ni pa ofe millions. A sona deni nyatom. When you go to the church of England for example. They have a ministry which is called um home and urban missions now if you have their documents you will see that these ghettos people are part of their mission and so now as a church they have uh this small church they call ghetto churches where the the church instead of inviting the ghetto people to come to church you rather go there and preach to them and you keep having service with them there until they start gaining grounds in god's word and they themselves willingly, they will start coming to church. Because there are some people, when, when, when they are born again and new, it's, it's hard for them to come to church. Sometimes, I'm a cry, I mean, I'm a fairy. But then, if you're able to teach them God's word, and they are more into the word of God, that conviction, that fear is off. And so, they are convinced within themselves to come to the church. So, this ghetto boys issue that the, 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 the pastor is saying, is even a mission that the Church of England is undergoing. That currently, there are a lot of these ghetto guys who have come to Christ like, through the Home and Urban Mission. Now, I understand what that pastor is saying. The thing is that uh, I've watched a lot of videos about this guy. Is it, is it a Sofu Surunyame or something? What's the name? Is it a Sofu Surunyame? Yeah. So that man, when you go to uh, TikTok, watch a lot of his videos i can't criticize him but then realize that he is passionate for those in the ghetto which is good it is very very good he's doing that the question is that is he reaching out to the blind the deaf and the dumb is he preaching to them no he's not doing but the church that he was criticizing <clears throat> they have ministry that is focused on those who are disabled someone is dumb how can you communicate the gospel to the person Church of Pentecost is doing that. They are blind people. They are dumb people who have received Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. How, how did that come about? It was a, an initiative that the church took. So please, if someone tells you that buying an evangelism track is a waste of money as a church, that is a lie. That person actually don't know what he or she is saying. Maybe the person is trying to just say it to just attack people out of pain or something. But indeed, what the Church of Pentecost did by buying that state of the art track is a plus for them, honestly. Because when I saw it, I was wow. I was wowed. And this is what we are looking for. This is what we are looking at to see. That the time will come, all churches will have this zealous move to evangelize. But at the end of the day, the money, I mean, the numbers wouldn't matter. What will matter is the souls that came to Jesus Christ. Once again, my name is Ebenezer Amok Entry. This is Christian Centric uh, Trends, and we keep on giving you updates concerning issues that is going on in the body of Christ. Now, before I go, um, there is this one, this uh, news that is in. Now, the VGMA Awards, the nominees, they are out, and we've seen some should i say surprising and amazing i mean artist on it and so watch out for that video to come out soon let, let, and definitely you know uh, your views about it once again the name is ebenezer wakwenchi see you in our next video bye